In this video, I'm going to show you how to play CTGP Revolution on your Wii U to play online Mario Kart, as well as access over 200 custom-made tracks. Now this mod is the most popular Mario Kart mod created by Mr. Bean and Chatters. Now this mod also has different game modes like Item Rain and Countdown, popular by uh, players like Troy98. And there's constant updates that add new tracks and different game modes in the future. Now all you need for this tutorial is a homebrewed Wii U and you need your virtual Wii homebrewed as well so that you can get onto the homebrew channel in your virtual Wii. And you also need a physical copy of Mario Kart Wii as I have right here. And if you want to play with me in the future add my friend code and join my discord link below. But anyways let's get started. If you click on the CTGPR link below it'll take you to this Chadsoft page for CTGP Revolution and it has an install guide if you want to follow this instead but we're going to be using this download link in the hotbar but before we download it i'm going to show you there is leaderboards on here you can see different records um, there's an online status so you can see how busy it is you can see if there's rooms that are ready to be joined you can see players in different game modes so it's very useful if you don't want to hop on and have no one to play with and then I'm also going to link this Mario Kart wiki page uh, where you can read all about the mod. Uh, so if you have any questions about it, you can see which tracks are available. Oh, that's a lot of tracks. <laughs> uh, so channel features, all that sort of stuff. So that'll also be linked below if you want to check it out. But anyways, uh, let's download the package and get it set up. So just click on download CTGPR under download in the hotbar. And it should take you to this Mediafire page where you can just... Now I've already downloaded it, so it just says save, but you should just be able to download it right there. Uh, it might take five minutes or so, depending on your computer, it's almost a, a gigabyte. So let's open up our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. And then we'll open up the CTGPR file we downloaded here. And you should see these. So you can click on the readme text and it should open this up. Uh, you can read about it. There's common problems and solutions. So if you run into any issues, you can uh, check this out to see if there's any solutions for you. But we don't need the readme text or licenses text. And just highlight the top four files, apps, ctgpr, revolution, and boot.elf. And just drag that onto the root of your SD card. And it might take a little bit. It's almost a gigabyte. When it's transferred over, you should see in your apps folder, ctgpr right here with these three files. And then back on the root, you should see revolution with these files and ctgpr. This is the main one with all of these folders and files. So once you have that, we're ready to head over onto our virtual Wii. I will meet you there. So once you're over on your virtual Wii menu, make sure that your Mario Kart Wii disc is inserted into your Wii U. And then let's go to the homebrew channel and start it up. And then here we're looking for the CTGPR channel. This is where we're going to go to set it up and then install the channel as well onto the virtual Wii menu. It'll come to this page, preparing SD. And here we go. Let's get started. Just select the language you want to use. I'm sure most of you are English. <laughs> you can read all of these. Um, I highly suggest if it's your first time that you do read these uh, terms and conditions. Eh, click A, go through them. <laughs> uh, just click yes on terms and conditions and press A. And then it asks you if you want to install CTGP Revolution right now. So click yes. And just so you know, this may take a while depending on how many updates there are, but I will meet you back when it's successfully installed. And here we go. Uh, it's been successfully installed. That took about 15, 20 minutes, so it does take a little while. Uh, but this page is just telling you that um, Custom Tracks Worldwide is CTWW, and you must have updated servers to play online. So yeah, just press A. And then here you are able to set it to auto update if you want, or you can just say no and then it'll, or you'll have to select to update it when updates become available. But I'm just gonna click yes. If you do press no, click verify instead, then you'll still be able to play online. And here it's saying if you wanna add your own files, uh, there's a my stuff folder on your SD card now, and you can do it through there. 
but I haven't really done any of that stuff, so I don't really know how to. Here it's telling you that uh, the servers used are WimFi because obviously Nintendo WFC servers are discontinued because Nintendo doesn't really care. <laughs> it, it's telling you error codes and solutions. Uh, but yeah, just click through these. You can read them if you want, but you don't have to. And here we go. We're in the CTGP Revolution channel. So first thing we're going to do is click on Add CTGPR Channel. This is going to put the actual channel on your virtual Wii as you can see here just click yes it makes you skip going into the homebrew channel and then ctgpr so it's pretty useful channel was successfully installed so go back to the menu and then one more thing before we launch the game just go into cup course organizer and we're going to change it to alphabetical this is your, your own choice but there's over 200 tracks so it just organizes them in a way where you can remember you know where they go because <laughs> it's a lot set it to alphabetical and it's pretty convenient but now we're ready to launch the game and here checking disc obviously as i said earlier in the video you need the physical copy And here we go, Mario Kart Wii, CTGP Revolution. And it'll load up like regular Mario Kart Wii. Press A, and I actually don't have a license yet on this account, so uh, let's just create one quick. You already know I gotta choose Funky Scott. <laughs> and here we go, it's literally set up the same way as Mario Kart Wii, although it's on WimFi servers and you have access to custom tracks. So I'll just run you through how to play online using WimFi in the bottom left. Just click on one player or two if you have two people, obviously. <laughs> just click next, click on next, just permit, why not? You don't have to, you can, you can say prohibit too, but then it'll connect to WimFi. And then once it loads, you'll have the options between worldwide, custom tracks worldwide and friends. So worldwide is just your regular Mario Kart. No custom tracks, just the original Mario Kart Wii tracks. Custom tracks worldwide is the 200 plus tracks, so there's a lot to choose from. And then friends, uh, you can create a room, find a friend, register. Um, in the future, I'm going to be organizing some some races with subscribers. Uh, if you want to get in on that, just join my Discord and we'll figure it out there. But yeah, let's uh, let's click on custom tracks worldwide and see if we can find a game. You got verse or countdown different game mode options obviously we got to choose funky kong for funky scott <laughs> you can never go wrong with the flame runner either so there we go we're searching for opponents all right custom tracks worldwide is taking a little long so let's uh switch up to the regular worldwide and see if that changes anything and there we go okay that was way faster so worldwide seems to be more popular but remember if you want to check out if there's people online you can go on to the ctgpr website and check the online status so that saves a little bit of stress you know saves yeah you don't have to sit there and wait for people to join but yeah let's uh let's play some online but anyways uh that's it for the video i uh, hope you found it helpful and wow oh bad start but I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, if you do want to get in on those subscriber races, uh, jo join my Discord. And there's a CTGPR channel in my Discord. And we'll figure out a time and we'll start playing. But anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.